Hello everyone. Welcome to rawonline.co.in. Today I'll be discussing the concepts and application of the pulmonary function tests, which we are utilizing in our day-to-day -day practice. Right. Uh, this is how I'll be going through my presentation. I'll be introducing you to the concept of the pulmonary function tests. I'll be discussing the indications and contraindications for the same. I'll be discussing the various PFT modalities. PFT stands for pulmonary function test. How do you clinically interpret these pulmonary function tests? And since we are in the COVID-19 era, how should we go about doing the pulmonary function test? Should we be doing it? Can we go without it? Well, let's see. And then finally, I'll be summarizing the entire presentation in a gist. Right, uh, coming on to PFT, all pulmonary function tests. They are the mainstay for respiratory system evaluation in the perioperative period. Of course, that doesn't mean that you don't take a proper history and do a physical examination, but you should keep in mind that history and physical examination are not always reliable. Sometimes the patient may not report to you the extent of dyspnea which he or she is experiencing. In that case, you may have to go for a PFT. And regarding the preoperative pulmonary function test, well, it has been seen as far as thoracic surgeries are concerned, they play a vital role in the assessment for the prediction of post-operative complications. However, for other type of surgeries, especially the upper abdominal and vascular surgeries, the role of a routine pulmonary function test is debatable. You can do that and if the patient is symptomatic or you feel the patient is experiencing some problems but he is not coming out with them. Right, indications for PFT are, as I was telling you, workup of a patient with signs and symptoms of pulmonary disease, monitoring the response to therapy which the patient is on, workup of a patient with a disease known to produce respiratory complications like Guillain Barre syndrome or any neuromuscular disorders. Preoperative evaluation of a patient, especially if the patient is scheduled for a thoracic surgery, a major thoracic surgery like a lobectomy or immunectomy. And in post-transplant surveillance, PFT can help you in deciding how the patient is doing. Contraindications, well, there are not much contraindications, but these are the general contraindications. A patient with a recent myocardial infarction who has an unstable angina, well, you don't really go for a PFT in such patients. A recent thoracoabdominal surgery or recent ophthalmic surgery, any thoracic or abdominal aneurysms, active pneumothorax. Well, these are all the accepted contraindications for pulmonary function test. Mm -hmm.